Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to make a video, uh, make a beat using, using a guitar that I don't play very often. Specifically, that one. Yep, these others, they get some love. But that one, that one, you know, I don't play it very often for a specific reason. So, we're going to do that. We're going to make a beat. I think we're going to use reason today for a specific reason that we'll get to in a second. So, uh, let's, let's do it. This is the very specific reason why I want to use Reason, not Ableton today. I do think Ableton is far better for sampling at this point, but this controller, I bought the launch pad that doesn't have the lights, I don't know, the mapping gives me lights on Reason, it doesn't give me lights in Ableton, and, and I just like that better. I want to get a push too, but we're working with what we got right now. Today's microphone of choice is going to be the iPhone 7 Plus. Mainly because my microphone stand is broken and I can't make it any lower. So the interesting thing about this guitar, have a listen. Right? This is strung using Nashville tuning, so think of it as the other half of a 12 string guitar. Normally a 12 string guitar is your regular six strings and then six more strings that are played at the same time. So this one is up an octave, up an octave, up an octave, and these three are regular. So this can work super nicely layered on top of a regular acoustic part. Or, you know, I don't know. I mean, let's just mess around and come up with something that we can record real quick. Let's just, let's just go with that vibe. That was like, get my tap tempo, be like, dun, 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 dun. I have a 74 vibe. I want to record to a click. This is the microphone we're rocking today. It's gonna be great. <laughs> uh, this is this is tripping me out because I'm expecting that string to sound lower in my mind when I'm playing it on a regular acoustic. Oh my gosh, just that. That is so much easier to play on this. It doesn't mess with my mind at all. Yeah, cool, all right. That's, uh, that's it, that's, that's some material. First thing I wanna do is just get some layers. I'm gonna go through here and take out bits I think I might. Alrighty, um, well. Sounds like a reverse one. That's cool. Here we go. We've got a channel here for guitar layers. I'm gonna record source for that channel for guitar layers. Stereo input, guitar layers. My plan is that I might use some of these clips here, uh, or some of these clips here, just as parts. But then what I also want to do is chop them up and use them as samples. So let's do that. So we'll duplicate this channel, call the guitar material, chops. So I'm just gonna randomly and semi-randomly Chop up some stuff. Just you know, just a, just a little bit of random. Separate them out a little bit. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, nineteen, twenty. All right, so we need to get rid of four of these. All right. 
bounce clips and use samples. I wonder if I can do all these at once. That would be really handy. Bounce clips and use samples. All right, now I'm gonna go instruments, Cone drum designer. Got me some samples. Now I can play them on this thing. Oh, I love this kind of stuff. All right, I need like a drum beat. I also forgot to turn my light back on. Is that that's a little better? Here we go. Now you can see my face. All right. Um, where were we? the vibe, I'm liking where this is going. Not sure when I'm gonna be back working on this beat. Maybe tomorrow, but uh, I'm I'm looking forward to it. This is sounding dope. I'm liking the sounds. All right, okay, bye, bye guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Whew. Alrighty. So the first thing I'm doing today, like I mentioned, is listening through bits of this. Um, I'm gonna quantize bits just to make sure stuff's happening in the right hit, and then convert it to some audio. Honestly, there is a rat or something that lives in the wall of my studio. It just ran past. The funny thing is, I don't think it can access this this building from here. I don't know where it comes in. But yeah, we're making beats with the wildlife over here. So now the question is, am I happy with the sound that I have? I created two separate chains. One of them was just the plain stuff. The other one is we're running through this Leslie cabinet, this vocoder which is doing something, a pulverizer which is also doing something. Maybe we could do some more stuff to that sound. Like throw in a throw in an audio medic. Those are always fun. Tape. sound like? What would it sound like if I take this, put that there, some of that.
there's no coffee left. Have I mentioned how much I love this keyboard? I have recently discovered new ways of using it with reason that have basically changed the entire way that I think about reason. I'm, I need to make a video about this, how I am using this keyboard. It's just, it's just so good. It's so good for generating ideas. Also, I want to get an Ableton push and I'm thinking of like building a little extension to my desk so it can go like right here. What do you reckon? Oh, bounce is done. Cool, so that's that. Now I need like some kind of bass. This sound is, you know, it's got some potential. Guys, that is it. That is that's what we wanted to do. We came up with some loops, got some baseline ideas down. Yeah, I'm gonna keep working on this track, probably in Ableton. But if you enjoyed this video, if you liked the process, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like. Let me know if you've got any questions, and uh, let me know let me know if you've got any questions about this controller. Because I'm, I'm definitely going to make a video about this controller and how I've been using it in reason recently because it's been dope. But until next time, guys, I will catch you later. By the way, who remembers Flappy Bird? I miss Flappy Bird. That was, that was such a great game.